All right, welcome to the video. So we're doing week two of the vlog for Iron Man Hain City. Uh, there is a lot to talk about. Uh, definitely want to touch on training and I really would like to touch on nutrition. That's the next thing that, that comes to my mind that's very important. Uh, nutrition, hydration is very important for everyone in any kind of sport, whether it be, um, I don't know, running, cycling, um, swimming, cross country, you know, whatever you're up against, you definitely need to get a nutrition plan. That is first and foremost. Uh, like tonight, uh, Saturday is kind of an off night. Um, I just, I really have my heart on a brick. So I wanted to do rolling hills and there's only really one place in Lakeland to do rolling hills, which is Lake Hollingsworth. You have this big, like massive lake and around it i would say just half of it about a mile a mile and a half it is about almost three miles uh in a complete circle uh, i think it's like 2.8 um but about half of the logistics of the lake there is about seven seven roads roughly yeah seven eight roads which is like i said mile and a half roughly and that a, a equivalates to about eight miles. So I did like eight miles tonight um, in about 55 minutes. Now, it was a lot of watts. I think some of the watts at some point in time on the bike ride was in the 400s, because uh, some of the hills uh, were, were definitely challenging. I was in the uh, biggest gear on the back, just trying to push up the hill. So I think I did, I don't know, eight or nine of those hills roughly. Um, so yeah, I was pretty pleased with that. Got back to my car in about 55 minutes. Was looking at doing an hour on the bike. Um, I did have a hard bike ride on Thursday. I was like two, 300 watts, no matter what direction I went. It was like a weird cold front it was the wind was just kind of blowing from each direction so even though I had a lot of good watts I had uh, my average miles per hour was like 14 to 15 which was not great but I pushed through three-hour bike ride great so back to tonight Saturday night um, jumped up the bike I want to say probably a minute probably roughly I didn't even change I just basically threw my bike in the car locked it up safely because I don't want to leave it out. Not that it's a bad area, but you just anybody riding by could, you know, could grab it. So threw it in the car, secured it. Took me an extra probably 60 seconds to do that, um, and then started down the hills. So I did two hills. I went down one hill, ran up another hill. Um, I think I had about a six-minute pace. Of course, coming back up, slows the pace down to about seven. Uh, ended up with about an eight-minute pace with the one mile. Uh, run out the bike which basically is a brick um, a lot of newbies don't know the um, verbiage of all of our techniques and everything that we do so to break it down a brick is simply two exercises typically the brick workout would be a bike and it would be a run now run off the bike ROTB is exactly what it says. You do a good hard workout, whether it be a good core, like hour workout or a six or seven hour workout, or like the other day I did, um, I think it was 40 miles and then ran eight miles. So I did 48 miles brick and then it was run off the bike, ROTB, ROTB. Um, so I just wanna to touch on training a little bit, catch you up what's going on with me. Um, so Monday was a, a hard ride, uh, Tuesday was a swim, uh, 
Wednesday was a run, a hill workout, 45 minutes, uh, eight minute pace, uh, four and a half, five miles, roughly I think what that uh, ended up being. Uh, Thursday was a swim uh, and also a bike, but I flipped it around. I actually did the bike first because it was like 48 degrees that morning, 50 degrees that morning, it was very cold. Um, so I chose to ride and then after the ride, I did just a 30 minute swim. Um, and that finished out the night for that. And then Friday was a hard four mile, eight minute and 26 mile an hour pace. Um, and then a long, hard core workout at the gym, just light weights, um, a lot of push ups, just stuff to work on the core to make the cord like core super strong. But I feel it. I feel it when I push through. Uh, it core workout really work. I don't. I don't think I'm ever interested in going to the gym, and I don't know, just like working out for like an hour and a half on like heavy weights. Um, uh, I don't know the machines. I just. I don't. I can't get into that. I believe. I love cardio. I was telling a customer today because I did work today after doing this workout or before doing this workout. Um, I told a customer today that I'm just a cardio person. I love cardio and it's cardio first and then the gym. And right now in my life, I just feel like, you know, God first, family second. And then training comes, you know, dead last. You gotta definitely put your priorities in line. Uh, and that's definitely a challenge too. Uh, but definitely getting off topic. Um, so, let's jump on nutrition and we'll, we'll jump back on training if something, you know, comes back up to mind. Nutrition. Well, uh, Let's start with the first thing everybody does. They hydrate. I'm trying to do a better job of hydrating. I do get a lot of water. Uh, I do get a lot of salt. Um, I do eat very well. Um, I feel like sometimes I eat too much. Like, I mean, last night I had about 10 ounces of chicken and a whole bag of rice. And then I had, today I had a whole bag of rice and about 10 ounces of chicken. So I feel like I'm eating and my nutrition is, is, is spot on. Cause I just have so much power um, when I run and when I push through, I just have that much more power. And I believe it's from eating the right things. Um, I get a lot of uh, cage-free chicken a lot of green wise, a lot of Publix, uh, green wise meats that is, I feel like is a lot better, uh, hormone free. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to do a better job on hydrating. Um, I have uh, G1M Sports from BPN and I also have uh, some Gatorade Endurance, which is great. This is all stuff that you can get online. Uh, Pretty much anywhere you shop should have that or go on Amazon and you can most likely find it. Nutrition, you know, you can go the old fashioned route because I do know that this sport is, is pretty costly when it comes to, you know, protein drinks, um, nutrition. I mean, you can drop two, three hundred dollars a month in nutrition. It gets expensive really fast. Uh, so my new thing is gels. Uh, I'm on this goo kick on the gels. I do the, um, I think they're strawberry, strawberry lemonade. And it kind of reminds me of, um, I want to say cake icing. I want to feel like it's kind of like cake icing. Um, you know, as a kid, if you, you know, your mom makes this cake and and she mixes the icing all up 
or there's some some batter left. It's not cooked, it's raw, but she'll like you lick the spoon. It kind of it reminds me of that. Like someone's mom was in a kitchen and they're like, ooh, this'll be this will make a good this will make a good gel. Let's put this into a gel. And the gel was born. So I really enjoy the goo gels. Um, I did try some other products. I won't mention their name. Um, I'm gonna do a taste test on another product that I just found. I'm not gonna mention it. It just got released. Um, and then the other one was from a race that I did. And before I did it, I knew those were gonna be there. So I'm like, let me try it before the race, like pre-race. And guess what? I tried those gels and it put me right to the restroom. It was not a good turnout. I did not enjoy the outcome. It was stinky and it was not fun. So yeah, so I just wanted to touch on training and nutrition and man, it's, it's probably, it's in the 30s. Um, less than 40 days, high 30s before Ironman Kane City, 70.3 on December 10th. I've been talking about this a lot, so the, the date's like lodged in my mind. And, you know, that race will be full of nutrition. I'm gonna have nutrition dead on. Uh, Iron Man puts on a good race. They know what they're doing. Everything is great. They have a lot of volunteers and it's a well-oiled machine. As an athlete, as an age grouper, you can't ask for a better race. They, they do really well. All you gotta do is show up, sign up, sign in, drop your bike off, sign up that morning at 5.30, 6 o'clock in transition, and then get everything set up on your bike, and then move to the swim start, and the rest is history. Well, that is enough for this video. I just want to bring as much information as I can, as clear as I can, then that way, if any information will help you for a race or get ready for a race, it'll be there, it's documented. And also too, all these races and all these videos that I do, my family gets to see them, you know, because you can like talk about triathlons and being an athlete and working and family and this and that and church so much until you can take a private delicate um, personal moment just you and your camera putting your feelings out there being in intimate with the camera and just sharing. That's what vlogging is all about. Just sharing what's on your heart and how you feel. I recommend, I mean, I get going. I mean, I could talk for hours. I'm like, man, I can't talk for like 10 minutes and then now it's almost 15 minutes and I've been talking. And, but what gets me amped up and gets me going and gets me passionate about a vlog is after a workout. I did a hard workout I did a hard run and I pushed myself and now I'm just, I'm on cloud nine. So I really want to thank you for watching this video and I'm going to have one coming very shortly after this one because I got a lot to talk about and a lot to share. So thank you for watching.